big name for Wexford. But today he's joined by both Mikey Rowe and Thomas Alua. So that big front three of Wexford all in action. But here's Longford Town on the attack for the moment. They're streaming forward. Good ball into the near post there to Jordan Adiemo. Just couldn't turn it goalwards. That's for Crowley early on to show his capability on the set piece. Scored a few down here at Ferry Carrick. Probably not from areas like this, though, in fairness. Plenty up for Longford, though. Crowley. Big pull on the jersey there of Adiemo, but... Flags up for offside anyway. Continued his run. Up on his own though. Comes through though. Plays it just the other side of Adi Yamo. Found Fran Campbell, but the shot is blocked anyway. Good control there. Turns and strikes as well. Aaron Dobbs. Reese Webb. Takes on a strike, not a bad one at all. It has to be tipped away by Brady. Great. Budiaf can step into a good area. Looks to pick out Adiemo. Takes a shot on, and it's in. It's a super finish by Adiemo. And that is potentially a massive three points on the road for... On for town, Atiemo goes again to celebrate in front of the Wexford fans. And Ratty. Flicked on by O'Malley to Lovic, finds a Lua. Flag stays down, Brady, no, with a good save anyway. Now played up again, straight to Dobbs. It comes down to Curtis, who sh shoots just over. Left. If he can spot it, but plays it through instead for Frank Campbell. Comes down again to Atiemo, who finishes, and that's two. And that's absolutely sealed it. Wexford capitulate late on. Meanwhile, through Keno Malley. Comes to Robinson at the near post, and it's just in. Aaron Robinson does pull one back for Wexford. Is there maybe time late on for a scare? No Mali. Another one to the near post. It's very dangerous. It's off the post. Comes out to Keen Curtis and it's in. Keen Curtis has leveled it up late on. Late, late drama. And you know something, there's even time for another twist in the tail. It was Alua 